Yo, yo, yo. Welcome, folks, and thank you for joining me. Today I'm back with Horace. We're going to hopefully get through that door that posed us a bit of a problem in the last chapter in that it was locked and it took me a little while to work out where I was supposed to go to get what I needed to unlock it. So let's crack on and let's get through this area and hopefully, hopefully we've got a key to the door. As I walked yes! the church ruins, Fabulous. I was surprised to hear Mr. Silton calling me. He said he had forgotten to give me something. Oh, and okay. the church's community hall would be the perfect place to try it out. Okay. As soon as we walked into the hall, Mr. Silton said he had a present for me. It was a pair of atlas gloves. Ah, the gloves. They made me think of the old blind yes. man with the cat and his stolen atlas That's gloves. right. Did Silton steal I them? I wonder if Mr. Silton knew how lucky he was to still have them with a glove thief around. Mm. Mr. Silton asked me to try the gloves on and start chucking things around. But not him. He was very clear about that. <laughs> Don't throw Silton around. Mr. Silton suggested we clean the hall. Oh, more of cleaning. I knew when he said we, he meant me. But I was happy to try out my new gloves. He said I should clear everything off of the basketball court and put the things on the floor either side. I fiddled with the settings for a bit, but when Mr. Silton saw I was having trouble, he produced a small manual. A manual he for gloves? pressing down and X would pick a thing up. X would then throw the thing, and if I wanted to place it on the floor, I should again press down and X. Right. Down and X. More and more an confused X. as he read all this, but eventually he finished by saying, Well, I hope that made more sense to you than it did to me. I hope so. So, down, down and X. Okay, we've picked it up. Where does he want us to put it? Over here? Hey, can we get it in the basket? Let's try that horror, ready? Ah, oh, so close, ready? Try again. Ah. Oops. Oh, come on, let's get it in the basket. Yay! You can get it in the basket. Most excellent. Look at that. Can we make it three? Oh, nice. Yay! There it is. Three. I think that deserves a like, guys. Come on, hit that like button. We've got here, baby Jesus. Oh, it's Joseph. Him down there. Oh look, a manger. It's like a nativity. Why can't you pick this up? Have I got to pick the others up first? Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. Let's pick her up. Put her down. Put Jesus in the in the. No! Oh my gosh! I just threw Jesus, baby Jesus. I'm sorry. Oh, and now I've electrocuted him. Okay, let's put the baby in the manger. No! Why am I throwing him? I don't want to throw him. I nearly did it again. Put him down. Why does he throw him? Look, put him down. Puts him down. I'm going to block the door. Because I'm hoping that's where we need to go to get out. Right, baby Jesus. Man, Horace, you've got to stop throwing the little guy. Put him down. Okay, I guess that's one way of doing it. Let 
let's see what else these gloves can do, Fabulous. said Mr. Silton as he flicked through the manual. He actually looked quite excited when he explained that holding X while walking into or under a falling thing would allow me to catch it. I must admit, I was then really happy when he suggested we make it a game and I try to catch 10 basketballs. Holding X, okay. Let's go. One. Two. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, cheeky one there, Horace. Not only did you catch it, you landed a basket. Good work, fella. Ten. Oh, what? Nine? Come off it. This one. Next, Mr. Silton suggested we do a real a game. game. Okay. See how quickly I could score ten, ten baskets. baskets. Gosh. I enjoyed this so much. It felt just like the good old days. Oh. Except Mr. Silton wasn't as forgiving as the old man. Ten baskets. Right out. Oh. No. Nearly. Ah, oh, it's close. One. One more. One more. And it's in. Yeah. Round of when applause, please. Baskets, Mr. Silton gave me what he called the high five. Slap that hand. He said I now knew everything about the gloves and I should be able to continue through the basement of the church into the palace. When I asked him if he was coming with me, he just laughed and said they would catch up with me in the main hall. Why is that funny? Let's carry on then. Right, let's go through into the main house. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Jetpack Horus here and here. Shall we go across and see what there is? Oh, what's that on the other side? What is this? Oh, okay. Now, what door do we go into? Let's go through this one. Maybe not. Maybe we don't go through this one. This door then. I was stood in a gigantic oh. cavern. This is an when interesting I house. Down, I was horrified <gasps> to see hundreds of corpses of those things. As horrible as it sounds, my stepdaughter Chip said they were things to clean. So clean them I would. Wow, lots of dead robots. I don't think they're friendly robots, so that's okay. We can clean them, right, Horace? We've got a way to go. We've got to do a million. Can't get that one. Where do we go? This way? Weird, isn't it? Having a that house. Must be the door Mr. Oh. Silton talked about. Okay. As I was saying, a bit weird having all this stuff under your house. How big is this house? The door was exactly as Mr. Silton had described it. 
I just hoped that the card he had given me was the security key. Fingers and not crossed. Just some backstage pass. <laughs> well, it opened the door. Hooray! But soon an alarm went off. Uh oh. <laughs> oh Something what's this? caught my eye. It was a small yellow sphere. Like your head. Next to it explained that it was a shield a that shield. would automatically take a hit for me when activated. The oh. I button took the shield in and out of storage, meaning I could save it for when the going got tough. It seemed that I started with two slots to carry shields, but I could upgrade to be able to carry more. Oh, okay. If both I and the shield died in the same room, the Lazarus chip would bring us both back. It's almost as if the shield needed its sacrifice to mean something. It felt okay. like a true friend. Proving that even the simplest of faces can bring out an emotional reaction. Hmm. Oh, poor shield. Whew, that was close. Why won't this bin? We could pick it up. We put it down. No. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? Lots of shields. I can't do anything with it. Let's go through this door then. Where are we going? Can we jump onto these things? Yeah, we can. Oh! 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 You could stay on them for a certain amount of time. Oh! Okay. Oh! What? 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 Back through the door, Horace. What is occurring? Uh, okay, it's just like a little jumping thing. You cannot linger. Oh, they're off. It's gone off and on. Oh. When it's on, you can jump on it. When it's off, you cannot. I see. I see. Oh my gosh, this is getting technical now. Technical! Oof. Very technical. I have to think here. There's a lot of thinking. Oh no! No! We'll go up on the right hand side. Okay, that's a door. Let's hope. No! I was not focused on what I was doing! <laughs> Wait for it. Whew. Okay, we're there. Through the door. Thank goodness. Oh, please turn that alarm off. Something literally oh! caught my eye. What? I remembered the old man had installed some software that helped show me things that were interactive and Ooh. how to interact with them. Uh. This must be what he was talking about. Okay. Up arrow. The electron gun blew the power. Oh! I needed to turn it back on before I could fire again. Okay, let's turn it back on then. Fire. Oh! Oh my! Nice! Loving it! <gasps> Spooky music! Oh! Move! He's not friendly! He's shooting rockets at you! Ah! Wait! Not a friendly man! Move! Can't jump! Why can't I not... Uh, why can't I not jump? There we go. Okay, that has a power on. Got it. Move. Alright, let's smack him. Hit him. Good. Turn the power back on. Beautiful. Let's go the other side. There's another gun over here. Hit him! Move! No! Faster, Horace. 
turn the power on. Jump. Oh my gosh, I did not realise I was in combat. In this game. Move! Turn the power on. No! Mm. Hit him. Turn the power on. Mind the rockets. Hit him. Move, Horace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go hit then. Let's go to the other one. Come on, my friend. We can do this. Oh, no. Oh, I started to panic there. Hit him. Oh, a silly mistake there, Mama. Silly mistake. Oh, what? No. Ah. <laughs> Horace, come on, hun. Let's focus on this. Just take your time. Concentrate on what you're doing. Don't make silly mistakes. Oof, I thought I jumped a bit too early then. Let's get to the other one. Come on. How many times have I got to hit this schmuck? I missed the on switch there. Yeah! Have that. Fabulous. Ooh. Ooh. I think I need to have a lie down after that. All oh, this excitement. This seemed quite valuable. Ooh. Did it? Uh, this was clearly worth something. Oh, Horace, I need to lie down, hun. That was energetic. Let's put the lights back on. Oh, dear. Oh, let me have a breather before we go through this door. In fact, I think that's probably a great place to stop today's recording so I can go and have a lie down. So it brings me to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you would hit that like button for me and subscribe if you've not done so already. Join me next time. Until then, ciao for now.